we need to check if this grammar is LL1 or not. We cannot find any left recursion. Also, left factoring is not required. And since this is a single production, this is LL1 by default. And then we need to find the first and follow. So, first for C is C or Epsilon, for B is A or Epsilon, for A depends on B and C, from B, A or Epsilon, if I put A then it's A, if I put Epsilon then it's B, else for from C I can write C and if I put Epsilon then it's D. And then for S it depends on A that is A, B, C, D. Now finding the follow for the first for the first uh, start term non terminal we have dollar and then for a it depends on s so here it is dollar follow of a is equals to follow of s then for a that is the only way it occurs for B. B is followed by B. And here B is at last means follow of B is equals to follow of B. Same thing. So nothing to consider. And nowhere B occurs. After C. After C D appears. Therefore here it is D. And then again here C appears. Follow of C is equals to follow of C. No need to change anything. No change in S. No change in A. So, this is my first and follow table. Now, now, these are having epsilon productions. So, I need to see if, if the first intersection with the follow of the Starting symbol is not initial, but the previous symbol is equals to pi or not. Means first of A or first of this term intersection with follow of this is it phi? So first of this is A and follow of B is B. Intersection is equals to phi. Therefore, this production is also LL1. Next, similarly here, first is C and follow of C is D. C and D intersection is equals to phi. This is also LL1. Remaining is this. We need to find the intersection between the first of these two terms. That is first of B or A and epsilon. First of C. That is this thing. But if I put here epsilon, then it's A and B. If I put here epsilon, then it's C and D. Is there any intersection between these two sets? No, that is intersection is phi. Therefore, this is also an LL1 production. As a whole, all are LL1. This whole grammar is also LL1.